Direct ophthalmoscopy provides a magnified, true image of the patient's posterior segment. Place the patient in a dark room to maximise pupil size and ask them to fixate on a distance target. Set the ophthalmoscope to the medium aperture if undilated or the maximum if the patient is dilated. Set the lens wheel to zero. Stand at 45 degrees and about 30 centimeters from the patient. Shine the light beam at the pupil, establishing the presence of the red reflex through the viewing aperture. Follow the red reflex as you get closer to the patient. Once you have established an image, usually a vessel near the disc Toggle the lens wheel using your thumb to improve image clarity. Once the vessel is brought into focus, follow it as it converges on the optic disc. Once here, pay particular attention to the disc's colour, contours and the cup to disc ratio. Once satisfied with your disc examination, ask the patient to look in eight positions of cardinal gaze, examining the mid periphery. When looking for diabetic retinopathy, the red free filter can be used to highlight any retinal hemorrhages. Another useful tool is the fixation star to help in assessing the cup to disc ratio in different quadrants. For example, this helps to establish if the isn't rule applies. One of the first things I noticed when using the Heine ophthalmoscope was the clear view of the posterior segment without reflection from the cornea. I wasn't sure how this was achieved until the team at Heine explained their secret, the AOS system. The ophthalmoscope cleverly separates the illumination and observation beams of light to eliminate anterior segment reflexes and allows for a crisp view of the posterior segment.